It's been a prediction of quantum theory for decades, and we've done it with small particles. The world often hears about scientific breakthroughs, but the things nobody tells you are the failures, the experiments that go terribly, terrifyingly wrong. At MIT, a top-secret teleportation test was making huge leaps, pushing the edge of quantum mechanics. Then, one fateful day, the unthinkable happened. A quantum ghost, a shimmering, impossible form, appeared in their experimental chamber. The reaction was immediate, the entire facility was locked down, and a veil of silence descended. What secrets does this chilling encounter hold? The implications stretch far beyond simple scientific curiosity. Realities Ripple The project, shrouded in secrecy, was known only to a select few. The facility itself, tucked away in a specially designed subterranean lab, was a marvel of modern engineering, boasting isolation chambers, cryogenic cooling systems, and electromagnetic shielding. Its construction alone cost hundreds of millions of dollars, a testament to the belief in the team's groundbreaking research. The primary experimental chamber was roughly the size of a large school bus, a cylindrical behemoth of polished steel and intricate wiring designed to minimize any outside interference to nearly zero. Within this chamber, the MIT team, led by the visionary Dr. Eris Thorne, believed they could achieve what was previously considered impossible, the instantaneous transfer of complex quantum information from one point to another. The day it all happened was meant to be a critical test. They weren't attempting to teleport a person, but a specially crafted, atomically precise diamond about the size of a sugar cube. This diamond was the most complex object they had dared to use. The goal was to dismantle its quantum state at one end of the chamber and reassemble an identical copy at the other, a mere 50 feet away. It sounds simple, but the technical challenges were immense. We're talking about controlling individual atoms with unimaginable precision, something that would make a brain surgeon's work look like a kindergartner's drawing. The process involved entangled photon pairs where two particles become so intrinsically linked that measuring one instantly affects the other, no matter the distance. This spooky action at a distance, as Albert Einstein famously called it, is the bedrock of quantum teleportation. The diamond's quantum information was to be encoded onto these entangled photons and then used to recreate the diamond at the receiving station. To put it mildly, it was a dance with the fundamental laws of reality. The energy required for even this minuscule feat was colossal, demanding bursts of power that could momentarily dim the lights across a small town. The superconducting magnets, cooled to temperatures colder than deep space, consumed enough electricity to power hundreds of homes. As the countdown reached zero, a hushed anticipation filled the control room. Screens glowed with complex algorithms, displaying real-time quantum state readouts. Then came the flash. It wasn't the gentle ripple they expected. Instead, a blinding emerald light erupted from the receiving chamber, far more intense than any previous test. The primary energy conduits flared, momentarily overloading the sensors. For a split second, a profound stillness descended. Then, on the main monitor, where the reconstructed diamond's data should have appeared, a different image began to resolve. It wasn't the diamond. It was something else. A shimmering, translucent silhouette, roughly human in form, but indistinct, like an image seen through rippling water. It hovered for a terrifying 345 milliseconds, barely a blink of an eye, yet an eternity for those watching. The thing nobody tells you is, this was not a simple optical illusion. Every diagnostic system, every backup camera, every redundant quantum detector registered the anomaly. Its presence caused a massive, localized drop in temperature nearly 50 degrees Fahrenheit in an instant and a strange, high-frequency resonance that vibrated through the facility's bedrock. The sheer impossibility of it caused a visceral reaction. Dr. Thorne, a man known for his unwavering calm, was visibly shaken. Before anyone could fully process what they were witnessing, the entire facility's automated security protocols engaged. Heavy steel doors, nearly a foot thick, slammed shut with a deafening thud. Magnetic locks whirred into place, sealing every access point. The main power grid rerouted, isolating the complex from the outside world. The teleportation test had been shut down, not by a technical error, but by an apparition. 
A quantum ghost had appeared and in its wake, an unprecedented panic gripped the most brilliant minds at MIT. This event wasn't just a failure. It suggested that the fabric of reality, the very rules they thought they understood, had been stretched and warped in a way no one could have predicted. What chilling truth did this quantum specter bring from beyond the veil of known physics? To truly grasp the magnitude of the quantum ghost that appeared at MIT, we must first understand the mind-bending science of quantum teleportation. You see, this isn't the science fiction idea of moving objects whole cloth, but rather the instantaneous transfer of quantum information from one place to another. The core concept rests on quantum entanglement, a phenomenon so bizarre that even its discoverers wrestled with its implications. Imagine holding two coins that are magically linked. If one coin lands heads up, you instantly know the other landed tails up, no matter how far apart they are. This connection, faster than the speed of light, is what scientists aim to harness. The particles involved in entanglement, typically photons, become a single unified system. Their fates are intertwined. The MIT experiment sought to use this intricate connection to scan the quantum state of the diamond at the sending station, encode that information onto entangled photons, and then use those photons at the receiving station to rebuild an exact replica. It's like sending the blueprint of an object, not the object itself, through an invisible, instantaneous network. The original object at the sending end is destroyed in the process, ensuring no two identical quantum states exist. This crucial detail is what makes the appearance of a quantum ghost so deeply unsettling. The experiment was built upon decades of theoretical work. In the early 2000s, Chinese scientists successfully teleported information over 60 miles of fiber optic cable. Later, in 2017, they achieved intercontinental quantum communication using a satellite, demonstrating entanglement across 750 miles. These were monumental achievements that paved the way for the grander MIT project. The facility's custom-built quantum processor, a network of superconducting qubits cooled to nearly absolute zero, around negative 459 degrees Fahrenheit, was the most advanced on Earth. It allowed for the manipulation of over a thousand qubits simultaneously, a staggering leap forward. The thing nobody tells you is, even with such advanced technology, the complexities are immense. The quantum world operates on probabilities and uncertainties. Particles exist in multiple states at once, a concept called superposition until observed. It's like a coin spinning in the air. It's both heads and tails until it lands. The act of observation collapses its state. In the MIT experiment, when the diamond's quantum state was measured to encode it, it was supposed to cease to exist in its original form. The reappearance of something else suggests an unforeseen interaction, a glitch in quantum reality. Many people are crazy about the idea that quantum mechanics might be linked to consciousness. While a highly speculative area, the appearance of a human-like ghost during a quantum experiment immediately raises questions. Could the collective consciousness of the scientists have somehow imprinted on the quantum field? To put it mildly, the idea is unsettling. Quantum field theory suggests that the universe is not empty space, but rather a sea of fluctuating energy fields. Particles are merely excitations in these fields. Could the intense energy of the teleportation attempt have momentarily excited a field in an unexpected way, manifesting a residual energy signature? The most shocking fact is, the quantum ghost wasn't just a flicker. Its energy signature left a distinct trace, a pattern consistent with a complex organized structure. This was more than a malfunction. It was an event with profound implications. The answer could redefine our understanding of existence. The Black Budget The appearance of the quantum ghost at MRT didn't just halt a scientific experiment, it triggered an immediate top-level lockdown. Within minutes, the entire facility was sealed and a team of highly specialized security personnel, whose very presence hinted at a higher authority, swept through the complex. What many overlooked is that these weren't ordinary campus security. Their uniforms bore no clear insignia, their movements were precise, and their faces gave away nothing. They were a rapid response unit, likely from a shadowy government agency, designed for securing sensitive scientific breaches. 
This was a testament to the real-world implications of advanced science. Dr. Eris Thorne and his team, still reeling from what they had witnessed, found themselves isolated. Communication lines were cut, and every external connection was severed. Their research, once the pinnacle of scientific endeavor, instantly became a state secret. The thing nobody tells you is massive scientific breakthroughs often come with strings attached, especially when they touch on areas that could have geopolitical or even existential consequences. The perceived threat of an uncontrolled quantum phenomenon was enough to warrant extreme measures. Over the next few days, the incident was scrubbed from official records. All data logs, optical recordings, and quantum measurements of the anomalous event were seized and moved to an undisclosed location. The scientists themselves were debriefed, not by their university superiors, but by agents from various governmental bodies, including intelligence agencies. The interviews were thorough, some lasting for upwards of 10 hours, designed to extract every detail of the incident and to ensure the absolute silence of those involved. The fear wasn't just about what they saw, but what it meant, and the potential for public panic or rival nations exploiting such a radical discovery. The facility itself remained locked down for several weeks, undergoing what was described as an extensive recalibration process. The truth, whispered amongst the few who knew, was far more complex. Teams of experts, many from outside M1T, were brought in under strict non-disclosure agreements, tasked with analyzing the residual energies and any lingering effects of the quantum ghost's brief appearance. They used highly sensitive instruments, some designed for detecting minute gravitational fluctuations and exotic particle signatures to scan every square inch of the chamber. You can see this everywhere in classified projects. The deeper the mystery, the tighter the grip of secrecy. Many people are crazy about conspiracy theories when such events occur, and to put it mildly, the circumstances surrounding the MIT shutdown fed into every one of them. The sheer speed of the government's response suggested pre-existing protocols for dealing with unforeseen quantum events, hinting that perhaps this wasn't the first time such an anomaly had manifested. The black budget projects that fund cutting edge research often include contingency plans for events that push beyond the known. The most shocking fact is, despite the intense scrutiny, no definitive explanation for the quantum ghost was ever officially released. The public was fed a sanitized story of technical difficulties, leaving the reality a haunting mystery. What was our world not being told? The appearance of the quantum ghost at MIT forces us to confront some of the most profound questions about our universe. If what the scientists witnessed was a spectral manifestation composed of quantum information, then what does that say about the nature of reality itself? The scientific community has long grappled with theories that push beyond our familiar dimensions. Concepts like parallel universes, where every possible outcome of every event plays out in a different reality, have been discussed for decades. Could the MIT experiment have accidentally, for a fraction of a second, breached the thin veil between our reality and another? The sheer, staggering energy output required for the quantum teleportation attempt, a precise burst equivalent to several lightning strikes focused into a single point, might have acted as a momentary stressor on the very fabric of space-time. Imagine our universe as a vast, taut sheet. A normal quantum experiment might cause a small ripple. The MIT teleportation, however, might have momentarily punctured that sheet, creating a tiny, unstable opening. What many overlooked is that such an event could allow for a brief energetic leakage from a neighboring reality, giving rise to the quantum ghost. This idea is not as far-fetched as it sounds. Theoretical physicists have proposed models of the universe that include extra dimensions, curled up and hidden from our perception. String theory, for instance, suggests the universe has 10 or 11 dimensions. An easy way to think about this is to imagine an ant walking on a garden hose. From the ant's perspective, the world is a simple line it can walk forward and backward on. It doesn't perceive the hose's circular dimension. We, as humans in three dimensions, could be like that ant, completely unaware of other dimensions that are all around us. If these extra dimensions exist, the possibility of interdimensional phenomena cannot be entirely ruled out. The quantum ghost could be a momentary projection from one of these unseen dimensions. Furthermore, the very concept of a 
Ghost, often relegated to folklore, takes on a new unsettling light when viewed through a quantum lens. If consciousness itself has a quantum component, as some fringe theories propose, could the raw energy of the teleportation process have inadvertently amplified a residual quantum signature from another event or time? It's a truly wild thought, but in the realm of quantum mechanics, where particles can be in two places at once, few things are truly impossible. Many people are crazy about the idea that quantum physics could explain paranormal phenomena. And this incident provides a compelling, if terrifying, narrative for such beliefs. The MIT quantum ghost incident leaves us with profound questions. Did they glimpse another reality or a warning? What untold secrets does our universe still hold? Leave a like, subscribe, and tell us your thoughts below.